Hey guys, what's up? Alright, so make sure you watch episode one and two for insulin and testosterone. This one is on growth hormone. So 333, three, three, just the basics. Uh, three functions, three uh, ways to increase it, and three ways to decrease it. Calm down, man. Damn. Uh, like I said, there's much more that goes into this, so make sure you do your own research and your own personal time. I'm just gonna cover the um, the basics. Alright, uh, three functions. Obviously, it's called growth hormone for a reason. Growth, right? Development of bone, muscle tissue, all that good shit. Uh, helps in your height. People that are deficient in growth hormone are extremely short. People that have too much growth hormone are extremely huge. Um, so obviously it helps a lot with your bones and your cells and things like that. Number two, it helps grow fat. Believe it or not, growth hormone is a big agent in fat burning because it helps, uh, you know, metabolize fat for other, you know, other things. So number one, bone and organs, all your organs except your brain will grow and grow for more. I'm talking about natural growth hormone, right? Uh, number two, like I just mentioned, it burns fat. Uh, who is that? All right, guys, hold on. All right, false alarm, guys. Sorry about that. All right, three ways to increase growth hormone. Obviously, high-intensity exercise, show rest periods, anything that makes you, like, sprints, jump rope, anything that's high intensity makes you, you know, makes your heart pump like a motherfucker, all right? Uh, that's going to increase your growth hormone. Number two, um... Fasting has been shown to increase growth hormone because, you know, like I said, it helps prevent protein breakdown while you're fasting, you're not eating. And that's also at night, your growth hormone goes up. Uh, third way to increase growth hormone is through your diet. You want to make sure you stay away from acidic foods. Uh, have a diet rich in alkalines. Eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, man. And try not to spike your insulin too damn much. Except post workout, obviously. All right, three ways to lower your, and your growth hormone is to fuck up on your sleep. If you don't get enough sleep, your shit is going to be whacked. Uh, mostly growth hormone is released during the first hours of sleep. Um, another way to decrease growth hormone, not like anybody would want to do it, but just so that you stay away from those things. Um, like I said, uh, foods that are highly acidic, stay away from that shit. Eat a lot of fruits and veggies, right? You, you want to have that balance, that alkaline acid balance in your blood. And uh, another way to decrease growth hormone would be, like I said, insulin spikes, right? Every time you, you spike your insulin, insulin, even though they're all anabolic, they're all good for muscle building, you have to know when to manipulate them. Insulin prevents fat breakdown. Insulin stores fat and keeps it from being broken down for energy. Growth hormone um, um, breaks breaks down fat, you know? Helps your body use fat for energy. So you want to make sure, you know, you kind of know how to manipulate your hormones. All right, guys, that's what growth hormone does. Hope this helps. Watch the other videos and do more research on your own. It's very important that you self educate yourself. I'm not always going to be right. The sources I use are not always going to be right. That's why you have to constantly keep learning for yourself. All right, guys, I'm out.